teachers, one of the most powerful tools that is available to you as an instructor is your classroom web page. There have been some recent changes to how our web page works, and these changes may cause a little bit of confusion. For this reason, we are going to review how to set up your classroom web page on this edition of Classroom Digital Tools. But before we go any further, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell icon, so that way you will be notified whenever a new video is published. The first thing that you need to do after going to our school webpage is to click on Staff Sign-In, which yields a drop-down box, and then go ahead and click on Sign-In. In these fields, go ahead and enter in your Active Directory username and password. This is the same username and password that you use to log into desktop and laptop computers. But not Chromebooks, Chromebooks will be your school Gmail. Go ahead and click on Enter or click on Sign In. The next thing that you do is click on the word Classrooms up here on the navigational bar. Find your name from the list of teachers and click on your name. The next thing that you do is click on User Options and click on Site Manager. This opens up the workspace for making adjustments to your classroom web page. Click on Home, and this page shows you the Blackboard apps that are available for managing your classroom web page. Please note that the county requires these three apps, JCPS Announcements, School Announcements, and Upcoming Events to always be present on your website. The apps should also be listed in descending order on right-hand side. So essentially, you do not change these three. Over here on the left, you have About Teacher, and you also have an app for Schedule. Your semester schedule can also be listed under About Teacher, but please remember to update it each semester. In About Teacher, go ahead and click on the pencil icon to make changes to your classroom web page. Your classroom web page is critically important because it can help create a great first impression for parents and students, and it provides an accessible platform for sharing Google Classroom codes and other important classroom information. Under About Me, put in the prefix for your name, followed by your name, then type in information about you. This is a great place to communicate with your students and parents about your professional background your educational philosophy, and anything else that you would like to share, such as Google Classroom codes and Google Meetup codes to help facilitate classroom teleconferencing. If you wish to make any changes to the text, highlight the relevant area, and you can do a number of things such as boldface, italicize, underline, you can also change the formatting of the text, such as aligning it to the center, aligning it to the right, or aligning it to the left. You can change the text color. You can change the text size. So just play with the options to see what would be best for you and your students. The toolbar also gives you the option to cut, copy, and paste, insert a file, insert a link. The way to insert a link is to highlight the relevant text, click on the insert link option, and you can either add a link that already exists from your website, an email address, a web address, and other options. For this example, we will click on web address. And I will 
until I, I wanted to open in a new window. And then I click on Insert Link. You also have options to special characters. For example, if you needed to insert a square root symbol, you would just click on that and the square root will be visible. If you want to deactivate all the changes you just made, simply click on Undo. Please make certain that if you enter in any dated material, such as have a great summer, that you update that material as needed. You don't want to have a message saying have a great summer of 2018 in the middle of the 2020 school year. The next thing that the county requires is that you include a professional looking picture of yourself. The picture on my webpage came from the school yearbook. I simply scanned the picture and uploaded it into my classroom webpage. The picture is in JPEG format. It's less than one megabyte. Whatever picture you choose to use on your website must be professional. There should be no other people in the picture, and that includes your own children. It needs to be clear that this is you. To add your picture, click on Select File, and in my situation, it is already on my computer, so I will keep it on Upload Image, and then select Browse, and then you find the relevant picture, and double click on it. Click Continue, click on Insert Image. You'll get a notification that you successfully uploaded the image, and then click on Save. The next thing you need to do is click on Details, enter in your work email address, your work phone number, add in your professional degrees and certifications, and once again, after making certain that this box is checked, click on Save. Once that is done, you can X out of the Classroom webpage workspace, X out of Home, and in the upper right hand corner of the screen, click on Sign Out. Please note that I cannot give you access to editing your classroom webpage until you have actually signed in to the school webpage. If you are receiving an error indicating that you cannot access your classroom webpage, please email me and I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching this edition of Classroom Digital Tools. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, give this video a huge thumbs up, and please share it with your friends. Thank you very much for your support.